A growing number of people are being left with a potentially deadly allergy to meat because of tick bites. It's called alpha-gal syndrome, also known as the tick bite meat allergy. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live in our newsroom. And Kennedy, a health expert tells you he's noticed a rise in these cases in Missouri. Deb Lucas, today I spoke with a woman who's been living with the alpha-gal syndrome for almost two years now. She tells me it all started after she ate some food at a cookout and experienced some odd symptoms. It was a 4th of July weekend and I uh, had a bacon cheeseburger for dinner and then in the middle of the night I woke up with hives like all over my body. A month later, Mary Daly would never have predicted she'd be diagnosed with alpha-gal syndrome which would have a dramatic impact on what she was able to eat. Beef, pork, dairy, um, and there is no medicine for alpha-gal, so you really just have to change your diet um, pretty dramatically. Alpha-gal causes a severe allergic reaction to all mammal meat if you're bitten by a lone star tick. A doctor says he's noticed a growing number of these kind of ticks in Missouri and says the short-term effects of someone getting bit can be very severe and even life-threatening. But this kind of allergic reaction differs from others, Dr. Lawrence Landwehr tells me. With alpha-gal, it seems to be typically delayed like four to six hours. So oftentimes people will wake up in the middle of the night and uh, be all broken out in hives and have stomach cramps and vomiting and stuff. And, uh, it's, it's sort of a mystery as to what it is. But at least both Daly and Dr. Landwehr can agree there are ways to avoid catching the virus, but it can be challenging as we head into hotter months. Make sure you're wearing light clothes, check, check for ticks anytime you've gone outside. You know, wear protective clothing and uh, use, uh, you know, chemical deterrents, sort of uh, insect repellents and so forth. And Dr. Lanwer says he's treated at least three people every week for alpha-gal syndrome. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kennedy Miller, ABC 17 News. Experts say some people with this condition have been able to eat meat and other mammal products after one to two years if they haven't been bit again.